Today's challenge, does the Garmin inReach Mini update the EarthMate app in near real time? In other words, is it the tablet GPS that's constantly updating position and direction or is it the Garmin? So what we propose to do is get the EarthMate app up and running on the tablet and walk around the house with my inReach Mini and see if the EarthMate tablet, the information on the tablet changes with the changing positions of the inReach Mini. So we're in the setup menu. We're gonna go down to tracking. And I have the send interval set at four hours. But I have the log interval set at one second. All right, so we have that part of the setup. Okay, we'll get out of the setup menu. And we'll go to start tracking. As soon as I hit start tracking, then the information on the tablet should change to what the information is on the inReach Mini. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've hit tracking, and we've got the message that the Garmin has started tracking. Okay, and we'll start walking around and see how things change. Of course, got to go up and over this because it keeps the dogs on the deck. As long as I stay within Bluetooth range, the Mini updates the tablet and creates a route. We are headed due south right now, which is similar to what the tablet is. But we've dropped several feet, a good 10 feet or so. Now we're gonna head due west-ish. And as long as I stay within Bluetooth range, it'll continue to update the map pretty regularly. If I change and I get outside of Bluetooth range, now we're headed north. If I get outside of Bluetooth range, then as soon as I get back within Bluetooth range, it dumps all that data back onto the track. <clears throat> I've just done a simple box. You can imagine if you had these two together on a vehicle or on your person, you'd be able to tell, have a secondary GPS device that could help solve problems. And so you can see the route that I walked and I've turned off tracking now and there you go. So. What did we prove today? We proved that this, with the right settings, so with the log interval set at one second, once you have tracking enabled, updates this in near real time. Let's get real for a second. This is an emergency beacon. It's an emergency communication device. It belongs on your person while you're traveling. If you're an adventure motorcyclist like me, it does not belong on your handlebars serving as your GPS. It doesn't belong on your handlebars plugged in so it can draw power, so it can update your map every second. That's not what this is for. What we've determined today is that it can serve as an emergency backup GPS device, okay? In no way, shape, or form am I advocating that this be your primary GPS. I wanna make sure that we're all clear on that. This belongs on your person, recharge it every night, so it's always there for emergencies. That's what the SOS is for, okay? That's what that button's for. 
right? It's an emergency satellite communications device, not your primary GPS. All right, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. What that gives you as a traveler is I'm planning on using this <clears throat> tablet, but using Gaia GPS as my main source of GPS information. But if for some reason the tablet's GPS goes down, I can use this to get whatever emergency navigation done that I need. I have a way to, uh, to address any contingencies or anything else. So I always have a secondary way of tracking. Now the problem is that the InReach Mini, when it's on one second tracking, it eats battery life. So we have yet to see what that looks like and how uh, how quickly the battery dies when it's tracking at one second intervals. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but you can always just turn the tracking on when you need it and you have your tablet and your phone to be your primary GPS, but you track with this only when it's absolutely necessary. Okay. And that way you're not burning your battery life out. Sounds like a win to me.